Hi, this is to the like to share how to create a launcher that allows us to choose the date by using user form. Let's proceed to Developer tab, Visual Basic, and insert the user form and start to design. We can refer to the system calendar to have a better idea. As we can see, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 rows because sometimes it takes up to six weeks to cover one month. Let's enlarge the user form and I will first insert command button for user to choose the year. So for this command button, I will first change the caption to story and for the form, we change to weddings. And size 20 so we will open a left to the left button and we drag copy and drag change to 4 and we will obtain a right button so that user can choose the year that they want so next insert a label so we can first change the caption to a particular year so make sure that no characters being hidden when we change the font size we can change the Times New Roman for the font and font size we take 18. Adjust if needed, adjust the position if needed. And we change the text align to center. So we'll have a better appearance. For the user form, let's say we want to display the caption with the word calendar, then we just change it. Otherwise, we can ignore because it's not evolving in any part of the coding. So next, we just have to press the control key button. And we drag. Then we adjust accordingly. To display the month to be selected. We can first type any month. Make sure that. The space is enough to cover all the collectors of the month. So we will use the month with the longest collector if possible. So we have already done for the year and for the month. To decide the heading of the days, we can make use of label again. We first change the caption to Sunday. If last day we want the Sunday to be the first day of the week. And font we change to Times New Roman and size 18. So again, we have to change to center align. So the text align, we make it center. Okay, next, we just have to drag and place to the desired precision. Now we should change some to month because after Sunday should be Monday and then drag again, change again, Tuesday for all the days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We adjust the position of the command button and the label of the month if necessarily. If necessarily, so that the alignment look better. Okay, then we adjust the size of the user form. Remember to change Saturday as well. So let's say we want to have better appearance or more attractive, we can change Sunday, the full color to red color if we want. And for the Saturday, the full color we can change to blue if we want. Or green. So green is not visible enough. So we can choose a color that is nice enough. 
Okay, next, we are not going to use labor to display all the dates because we have to bear in mind that labor is not an active control. So let's say we want to call a particular labor using active control that are not workable. So what we have to do, instead of using labor, I will use the frame to replace. So we insert frame, then we adjust the sign accordingly. So if let's say we have frame as we can see with a frame that is not nice. So for example, we change to with 31, any day of the month also can because later we are going to use VBA to run through the days. So the font also we have to change to the same type and same size. Then what we have to do next is change special effect. Look for special effect and we change to flat. Look for flat. So as we can see, then the frame disappear. Disappear. So look like labor. And we can adjust the sign accordingly. And we just have to drag. So make sure we place correctly. We don't have to ch change the date the number because we are going to use VBA to help us to run for the days. So as you can see, we already have all this. Altogether, we need six rows. We have to bear in mind that the numbering, the sequence is very important. So we start from one, two, seven. So now the next step, if let's say we don't want to copy one by one, waste time, we actually can copy at the same time. Before that, remember to change to the same color as the heading. So we look for the full color and we change to red. For the Saturday, we change to blue. Okay, next, now we should drag and copy. So press the, using the control key button on the keyboard. So start from Saturday. This step is very important in order for us to ensure that the sequence is correct. So we drag and we drag and we drag. All together, we need one, two, three, four, five, and six. So as we can see, it's not enough. So we have to enlarge the user form. So one, two, three, four, five. We need one more. So again, select from the Saturday and to Monday. We just have to keep pressing or hold the control key button on the keyboard. And then we drag. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is enough already. So basically, the design of the calendar is already done. So let's say we think that the space in between the date is too big. We can adjust accordingly. Now we just have to double check. We click on a particular frame. So 1 and the last one is 7. So 8. So 7 to 8 correct. The sequence is very important. Then 14. 15, 21, 22, 28, 29, 35, 36, and 42. So all the sequence is correct. Now we can proceed to the coding part. I will first back to Excel and we insert the code to this command button to call the user form. So what we have to do here is I will always display the current year and the current month every time the user form is called. So user form one dot labor one since the year is the first labor that we insert. If let's say we not sure, we can check again. So name labor one, and this is labor two. So command button one, two, three, and four. 
So we go back to the coding part. So labor dot caption. We are going to display using the current year. So year function, we want the year only. Current year means what? Now. And now we should change to labor to. And the caption should take the month. You have to bear in mind that if let's say we use the month function, what we display is the number. So for example, January is the first month. So display one. Two is February. So display two. What we have to do here is convert to month name. Okay, next is we can now call user form one so dot show how about the days we have to insert a module so that we can update the days every time we call the user form so make sure that we use the same name for all the command that we need later so i will use assign the date so we just have to copy exactly make sure the spelling is exactly the same for all the command whenever we want to call this module so we have to update the base first before we call the user form so every time i will assign first before we call the user form i'm not going to call the user form then only assign I will assign first. Okay, now we move to module first so that we can update the day. What we have to do here, recall that when we design the calendar, we use Sunday as the first day of the week, which means that the first Sunday is very important. If this number is correct, which means that the rest definitely correct, otherwise wrong. So we are going to determine the first Sunday. To do so, I will first assign a dummy to record the day that we have, the date that we have. So we use date value to join the month and the year. Because the month and the year will determine which Sunday is that. So simply use the first day of the month. So remember to put space, it's very important. Because we are going to convert string to day value user form one dot labor month so second labor is the month so we are going to have day month year and space again use emphasis to connect in between the strings then user form one dot labor one as a year so we have day month year then what we have to do here is determine the first Sunday that we have. So we are going to use this formula A minus day A. This is for us to move back to the previous month, the last day of the previous month. And we are going to use the day, the weekday to determine what is the current day, which means that if let's say the current date is Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, or what? So A minus day A. Now we should offset with. So since we are using when Sunday as the first day, so make sure we choose Sunday. Offset with eight because from one Sunday to the next Sunday, the duration is eight days. So we have to offset it. Then after that, we are going to use a condition. Since as we can see, sometimes it must it might take up to six weeks to cover one month. So which means that the first day of the month may start from behind. So the first Sunday, which means that maybe start from the second row, not the first row. So whether we want to start from the first row, display the day on the first row or the second row, then I'm going to use Monday as a cut point. So if the Monday, the 
the value is small then i will start from the first row otherwise i will start from the second row so they now the first sunday after sunday is monday since i want to use monday as a cutoff point so i will plus one is less than equal to two then which means that i will start from the first row so first day is equal to first sunday minus one why i'm minus one here is because later i will go in to introduce hate cow so every time i will plus one plus one so here i have to offset so else first day is equal to first sunday minus eight so that start from the second row one week we have seven days so that's why we minus eight offset extra one because eight count plus one so start with if and with if now we should update the frame so we are going to define the frame first dim frame as control since they are control then for each frame that we have what we have to do here is refer to a frame on the user form so when we type we should type in user form one dot controls if of course not all the control on the user form we should update with the number we want to update only the frame so make sure the type is correct so type name refer to the object that we have is equal to frames frame then we perform hit count i is equal to i plus one then we can update so frame dot caption is equal to what we have here is we want only the day first day plus i so as we can see minus i plus i we get back to sunday if let's say we want to have specific format for example every day with two digits so we can set format so zero and the number so which means that if this number is only one digit then we add zero in front otherwise we ignore and we will go in to introduce another condition so this is for us to differentiate whether it's current month or the next month so we are going to use the month name if let's say the month name of what we recorded here what we added here what we plus here so we are going to re extract retrieve only the month so first day plus i if let's say the name of the month is exactly the same as the name that we presented on the user form the month here so which means that the day is belongs to the current month dot labor month is labor two then we will enable the frame enable is equal to true otherwise else we should disable so change to false we start with if of course we need to end with if we start with if and with if or first one done go to the next and done so basically the coding part for updating the date is already done now we should back to the user form and assign whether we should go to the previous year next year previous month or next month double click on the left button of the year which means that we intended to move back to the previous year so what we have to do here is update the year by minus one so 
dot labor year is labor one dot caption is equal to user form one dot labor one dot caption minus one so we can move back to the previous one after that remember to update the date so we can copy and paste here once we're done for the first button we move to the next button so move to the right means that we want to move to the next year so we should plus change simply change minus to plus so done for a year now we should move to month for the month we have to be careful we cannot simply plus or minus because we have that in mind that if let's say the current month is generate when we minus one one minus one is zero but do we have zero month so this is the problem so we have to con introduce condition here user form one dot labor two since month is labor two dot caption if let's say the current month is January then before January is December so we have to make use of December dot labor month is labor to dot caption is equal to December otherwise we can update as usual by using plus minus but what we want here when we plus minus is we have to first convert to day value the date value so that excel able to recognize what is the time so we need labor to dot caption is equal to but what we want is only the name so we have to convert to month name then we want to extract the month so convert to day value first so that able excel able to recognize for the day value as we can see string make sure whatever we type here is a string so one space what is the date we use here not really important because what we want our purpose here is just to want to record the month so the month is the important part others is not important so user form one dot labor two and what is the year also not important so we can simply take any year that we want space 2022 remember everything must be in terms of string otherwise arrow so after that what we have to do here is minus one since we want to move back to the previous month start with if and with if after that remember to update the day then done go to the next button so we have we just simply copy paste then we amend accordingly now is this sample to January and move to next so plus basically the coding part for assigning year month and date already done let's check the result before we further to to write the code for selecting the date back to excel so click the button to call the user form so this is a date that we have we can check whether we done it correctly so apparently it's correct we can check for a few months so maybe we check for the next day we try to see start from the first day if let's say it's correct okay so may 2022 correct how uh, let's say we change to the previous year for example we want to have maybe like as we can see when we press it's correct we can do that okay august is it the same previous year so we check okay august also the same so basically everything is already correct now we should 
update the code so that when user press a particular frame, we can record the date to this cell. Okay, let's move on. Double click on the frame to assign the code. So what we have to do here is display whatever we have to the cell that we want. So we refer to sheet one dot cells. So we choose a cell that we want to display the date. So since I want to display it to row seven column G, so I put here row seven and column G. So what we want here is to connect all the thing that we have here. So user form one dot controls this. We want to automatically update the date using the value that clicked by the user. So active control. So this is the code that not workable on labor. Dot name dot caption. So I'm going to take this current frame a name. So this is frame one, then the caption. So let's say the caption here currently is 31. So 31 will be display. And then we connect with, okay, so with space so that we want the date to be written correctly and person to connect in between the string. So after date is supposed to be month. So user, user form one dot labor month is the second labor then m space again so this one is without formatting so it will be when the excel this display print this string to the cell will according to the default format so use form if let's say we want to have specific format then we just use the format function so labor one is the year dot caption here also dot caption so already done for that okay then after that we should end since we already selected means that we don't have to bother about what is the user for anymore we just end it okay what we have to do next is we just copy whatever we type here, so we copy and then we paste to the next frame. For me, this one is easier as compared to we call, we make use of the class module and write the code so that to detect the labor. And let's say if you want to make use of the class module to detect the labor that clicked by the user instead of using frame, then we can make use of the answer provided by the Microsoft. Refer to the answer Microsoft, then we can make use of the code. But high chances that we will result an error there because if we use all labor here and we use class module to detect which labor being pressed being selected by the user if let's say the user selected the sunday then there will be a will be an error so that's why instead of using that i prefer to use this method because copy paste is not a difficult task We just have to copy paste as we can see we refer to the active control means at the current control we don't have to bother what is that excel will do for that we just have to copy and paste until the last one before we check the result now let's check the result click on the command button so we can choose whatever that we want we can choose whatever month that we want as we can see here so if let's say we choose a particular date for example this one so as we can see will be automatically updated here and we choose again so choose different year and different month and let's see the result so for example we choose this one as we can see automatically updated 
Okay, we can also always choose whatever date that we prefer and we'll update it automatically. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.